So I've noticed that pellets have gotten a little bit scarce recently and there are no real deals to be had when you can find them you're pretty much paying I guess full retail price for them and uh, at about the same time though I noticed that NOE bullet molds had in stock a few 22 caliber pellet molds so they didn't have all of the different configurations in stock but uh, they did have this one which is a uh, it's a 217-24-RF RF meaning round flat, round nose with a flat and uh, it's listed as 24 grains but it's got these little uh, plugs that determine the, you know, that, that make the hollow base and that determines to a large extent the weight of the pellet and it comes with I think three different sets of plugs and I'm just using the ones that were in it when uh, you know that were already installed in the mold I haven't tried any of the others but uh, let's first of all I haven't cast a whole lot of them but just a few so let's first of all see what the weight of them is so this is what they look like and there's the flat point so it looks like a pretty reasonable pellet zero the scale twenty two point six grains that's a little bit heavier than the JSB eighteen point three or whatever it is eighteen point something that I usually shoot Twenty two six. I noticed that it tends to cast the uh, the skirts kind of lopsided until it gets up to full temperature. So you got to watch for that. Okay, that one's a little bit light. Twenty two four. Most of them seem to be right at twenty two six. Twenty two three, and that one has a lopsided skirt. I can tell. Those lopsided skirts are gonna really uh, affect the accuracy because they'll throw off the balance of it. It looks like though, the ones that look good are pretty much universally settling at around at right at 22.6. So I can tell by looking at this one that the skirt has a little dip in it, so I'm not even going to weigh it. Yeah, that one's a little bit light. I could tell when I set it down, it sat a little lopsided, and now I could see that the skirt is lopsided on it. Those might be okay for plinking with my humpers. 
Let's see what he's barking about. Okay. I've got them on a... I've got a little lube pad in there with them, but... Anyway, the next step is to see if they will fit in the magazine of my Benjamin Marauder. Hopefully they will, but if not, I can still use them in my pumpers. Because I've already tried that. Looks like it's going to work though. I think they advertise it as functioning in most uh, repeater magazines. But yeah, so there's one in there. Yeah, they're working. Looks like they're designed to be just pretty much as long as they can be and still fit. And they actually were probably designed around a Marauder magazine since the Marauder is probably the most popular repeating air rifle. Alright, let's put a couple of the a couple of the bad ones in here. So we'll have a full magazine. Okay. So let's go see how they shoot. Alright, so there's the Marauder. It just looks like a Marauder. Woodstock. It's got this junk Nico Sterling scope on it. Hopefully one of these days I'll get around to putting a decent scope on it. So let's see how it does. This is about 20 yards. Well, it definitely brings the power. That was nine, nine shots before it got to where 
I could no longer see the bullseye. So that looks like a little bit over two inches at 20 yards. Not awesome, but maybe it'll get better. You know, with testing and whatnot. I started to say I hope it doesn't uh, destroy my pellet trap. It did knock the back off of it. And right here you can see <laughs> A pellet is escaping through that seam. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Man, this Marauder brings the power, that's for sure.